Today I'm here at the golf course and I realize there's a lot of similarities when it comes to golf and trading. So I'm gonna play nine holes and I'm gonna give you nine tips, nine pieces of advice that help me become a consistently profitable trader. Four. <laughs> Do we wanna kick it off with a question? Let me see. So hole one is getting started. The learning curve in trading is very similar to college. You are gonna have this period of time and that's your tuition in a sense. So you go to college for four years to learn this skill and after that four years you can go find a job in the real world that's gonna pay you back for all the time and money you've spent. Your trading learning curve could take a year, could take two or three years. And in that time, you're gonna lose money but that is the cost to learn this skill. That was your best shot of the day so far. <laughs> So hole two, we talked about how to get started, but what do you need to actually begin trading? Everyone thinks that you need five monitors and a laptop, but in reality, you need your phone. Everyone has a phone, right? All you need is to download a brokerage on your phone. It doesn't matter what brokerage, as long as you can buy and sell a stock and then 500 bucks. Again, the intention here is not to make money, it's to learn and build up that consistency and find out what works and what doesn't. Beautiful hit. It was. I shit on college a lot, don't I? So hole three, if you get to the golf course, typically what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the driving range and you're gonna warm up. Now with trading, if you're starting out, you can open up a paper account. You can trade with fake money to warm up, to build your skills, to learn these very basic things. Why start out risking and putting your actual capital on the line when that's really a time where you should be learning the basics and you could just use fake money to do so? Here. I don't have a pitching wedge. Dude. Yeah, you need a nine again. Dang. Got the nine. Oh my God. You don't hole four is a cushion. You go out to hit 18 holes. You're going to bring extra balls because you inevitably know you're going to lose balls while playing golf. Same thing with trading. Build up a cushion in your account. Start out and size small so you can get that cushion underneath you. All right, let's do this. <laughs> so hole five is having another source of income to go with your trainings, pair with your training. You guys don't quit your day job to become a full-time day trader without having a year or two under your belt of becoming consistently profitable. If you're not making money off the start, having a second stream of income is the way to go. You have to take your shoes off for this one. <laughs> There's a problem with a lot of traders is, is when you have like a rough spell, a rough patch, you're going on a losing streak, it becomes you know, you're in the sand trap, right? It becomes really hard mentally to make good decisions because you're so focused on the money you're down in the last four losses you had. It's hard to say like, you know, don't think about your last trade, but it really comes down to focusing on the trade in front of you, not the trade behind you. Okay, bad hit, but we got out of the sand trap. So hole six, we're on to beginner's luck. You go out and play your first round, it goes really well. You take a couple of trades and you do really well, you make money. And then you have this sense of, oh, I know how to trade, I know how to play golf. You have this confidence and you get overconfident, you over leverage, and then you realize you have no idea what you're doing when you go and blow up your whole account. Don't get overconfident when you have beginner's luck. It's not that easy. It's not easy in golf, it's not easy in trading. That's no. pretty good. Oh, that's not bad. We'll take it. All right. All right, hole seven. I had a couple bad hits today and I was never focusing on the previous hit. And with trading, you never want to focus on that last trade. You only want to look ahead. You want to look ahead at that next hole, that next swing, that flag in front of you. Don't think about how bad you just performed. Think about how you're going to perform moving forward. That was a good hole. I'm just checking in on the market because it is power hour. It's the last hour of the day. We've got 45 more minutes of market open. Right, there's one stock I'm keeping an eye on, uh, ticker symbol MEU. I've got the call out ready to be posted. Like I said before, we came out this morning. I wrote it up. So just waiting to see if everything aligns and then we'll end up entering that, but not quite yet. All right, we're almost to the clubhouse. It's hall eight. You need to have an edge and you need to develop your edge. I found my success through finding an edge. You'll have, say, a golf coach who is going to help you develop your edge 
in your swing, in your performance, in your gameplay. Find that edge in the market and you'll find that consistent profitability. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and enter this trade on ticker symbol MU. I'm gonna send this out to the team over inside my mentorship group. I got filled on these contracts. Well, my lowest fill price was 950 a contract. My average is 1008 a contract. I'm in with 27 contracts, so that's equivalent to about $28,000. Uh, on MU, you can see the high at 68.59. We're short. We're gonna get stopped out if we do break that all-time high on the four-hour. And then my target is gonna be back down to this range uh, around the $64 area. So it's a good risk to reward that's presented. I'm either gonna make money or lose money on this position. If you guys are interested in having access to essentially copy my exact trades that I take on my $500,000 account, I'll put a link below to my website, and there's an application there you can fill out to see if you're qualified. Hole nine, it's our last hole of the day. I wanna talk about the fact that no matter what you're doing in life, whether you're playing golf, whether you're trading, you are never as good as you could be. You could always make more money trading. You could always become better playing golf. You constantly have to work on honing in on your skills, developing your system, working with the market as market conditions change and becoming a better trader every single day. And that's something after trading for almost six years, each and every day that I'm still working on myself. And every day, even though I've been trading consistently profitable year after year, I'm always working on becoming better, not just in golf, all right? <laughs> and so hole nine, you finally made that transition into becoming a full-time trader. Realize that you can always work on yourself and on your trading system. You can always become better and you can always make more money in the market. I know I've been searching for something. I know I'll find my way back home. But tell me. That was good. All right, that's gonna wrap up our day playing golf. I went through every single ball I had. Uh, we had some great swings, some great hits. I entered a trade. It was a fun day. I hope you guys ended up taking away some value from these nine tips and enjoyed watching me play nine holes. I'll see you guys in the next video. Click that link below if you want to apply to learn how I trade and copy my exact trades in the stock market. See you guys in the next one. Later.